What's up, YouTube? Nick Steven here, and I'm going to show you how I draw a certain character from a now extinct Disney attraction. Captain Buzzy from former Epcot attraction Cranium Command, an attraction that was once part of the now defunct Wonders of Life Pavilion and is now being redone as we speak for in this video here because it's a video log into now being called the Play Pavilion. Fate of the uh, empty attraction is still unknown at this point. As for Cranium Command, it was sponsored by Metropolitan Life or MetLife. You know, the Snoopy logo. Okay, let me get started before I ramble on. I'm gonna... It will probably be an anime portrayal of Buzzy himself. I'm going to start with this. Oh, sorry. Wrong pencil. It's <laughs> a bit embarrassing. I'm going to start with the 2H pencil. Like I usually do in the previous videos I've done. Ugh. I'm running this with a screen play. It's harder than I thought. I'd have to use a screen for doing my Beauty of Autism video. I gotta get the outline of his head here. And pardon me if there's some kind of see through in the paper from the previous drawings. Don't worry, you'll be able to see the current drawing as soon as I'm able to get there. I gotta get this head outline. And uh, let me see, he has this kind of cheek like, uh, like a young person does, like in any younger character. They have these baby face like things. Get a gritty outline here. And uh, I have to uh, where his ear would be. And I would have to put some for the neck. He has kind of a uh, commander's uh, shirt, commander's jacket, almost like a World War II bombers. Get his shoulder here, shoulder there. I'm doing like shoulder and head. It's getting a little difficult with the see through. I'm gonna take a look here. And he has this badge. The big C for cranium, a lightning bolt, because it shows, and it's the cerebral surrounding here. Yeah, it might be terrible. The brand of cranium command. <laughs> I'm gonna get the eye outline here. It's almost as though Buzzy's like slightly bald for some reason. Poor kid. I'm going to put this outline here. He wears these commando headphones. I remember seeing this attraction when I was nine years old. It was back in 2001, during Walt Disney World's 30th anniversary. Okay, the headphone line here. He usually wears a hat. It's a commander's hat. And then I'll put some trickles of hair here. The other side of his headphone. The thing is, Buzzy was voiced by former child actor Scott Curtis. He was selected for the part to play the role of Buzzy 
they had a different voice actor in the pre-show opening. It wasn't Scott Curtis who played Buzzy in that pre-show opening. It's kind of a mystery voice right now, as Scott Curtis said in one of his podcasts. And then he got to do the voiceover. Okay, I gotta put an eyebrow line here, right there. And the thing is, he wears glasses. He's kind of a uh, four-eyed commander. Make the outline of the glasses a bit. crevice for the eye, and there's the glasses end here. And I forgot one thing from the, uh, I'm going to put a microphone right there because uh, these headsets had microphones, like in the military. The eyes here. One eye shine because he's male. Eye shine there. It's almost as though I'm modeling this after his animatronic counterpart. Kind of a lip line here. Okay, I gotta do something now. I have to outline him now. Where's the H pencil? Aha! Now I'm gonna use the H pencil. It's to get the entire outline to overdo the grid outline I was doing. As some of you are well aware, in late 2018, the buzzing animatronic had been, uh, how should I say it, uh, abducted by a gang of thieves. Well, it was a work of two, though. A former Disney cast member, identified as Patrick Spikes, was responsible for taking Buzzy out of his perch in the abandoned attraction. That's why I call stealing Disney history there. And he sold Buzzy's jacket and hat to Robin Lopez, a basketball player tricked the poor guy. When Robin Lopez figured out what he had, he called the authorities immediate, almost like immediately. And I guarantee poor Robin Lopez was really pissed off when he found out that he had bought something from a stolen, that was stolen from an attraction. I don't blame him and he did the right thing by giving the stuff back to Disney. The only thing that's missing is the animatronic himself. And Scott Curtis is now involved with the Find Buzzy. He'll do, he's doing what he can to help find the poor boy and bring him home. As, as for me, if he was brought home, I think Epcot should think about uh, resurrecting this broken, this now uh, defunct attraction to make sure that Buzzy no longer falls into the wrong hands. And I'll bet Scott Curtis would want that. And he'd probably do like an introductory video before the pre-show. And as you are taking your seat inside Bobby's head, that's uh, who Scott Curtis uh, played in the live action segment. He had a cameraman over his shoulder to make it look like we were looking through his eyes. And I remember seeing like a pretty girl that uh, Bobby was looking at when he entered the school ground. 
And that pretty girl, however, was the voice actress who played Jenny Foxworth in Oliver and Company, Natalie Gregory. I'm going to have to do a trick with the, uh, with the glasses. I did see this interrogation video on YouTube that uh, the Orlando Sentinel put up on their channel. It showed Patrick Spikes being interrogated by the Orange County Sheriff's Department. And he was trying to cover up his tracks and saying he uh, did not uh, steal anything, but I think he did. I think he's, I think Patrick Spikes still has Buzzy stored somewhere in like in one of his closets. It'd be hard to interrogate him now. He's now banned from Disney property after uh, not only stealing Buzzy, but clothing props for the animatronics at the Haunted Mansion. And he somehow kind of bragged about it on his Twitter account and YouTube account and stuff. <laughs> Big mistake. Only a fool, only, like I said, only a fool would post up what he stole and stuff. <laughs> that got him easily caught. Oh, stupid Patrick Spikes. Okay, now to think about what to do, what to do. Um, yeah, I'll move on to the, to the number two pencil, or HB as it's called. And so I can kind of color in his flesh a bit. I'm doing it lightly under the glasses. Because uh, I have to do like a trick of how the glasses show it. And glasses are like a clear spectacle of some sort. Yeah, this is definitely uh, an anime-based per portrayal of Commander Buzzy. I also did see an old photograph that Scott Curtis put up on his Twitter account of him, Jason Marston, who you might know as Kovu from The Lion King Part 2, or the English dub voice of Haku from Spirited Away as well as uh, Max Goof from Goofy Movie and uh, Binks the Cat from Hocus Pocus. Voice only though. Him and uh, Bobcat Goldthwait. The only thing I found familiar about the name Bobcat was because uh, there was this game show reference in Family Guy saying Bobcat or Bjork. <laughs> Now for the B pencil. It's going to be difficult now. I think I'm going to use that to color in one of his irises. He says it's the lightest. I'm kind of doing it through his glasses, though. Okay, I think that would be it for the B pencil here. <coughs> now for the uh, two B pencil, I'll use that to color in his pupils.
like I said, I'm doing the trick of the glasses. Oof. 3B pencil. I think I'm going to use that for his bomber jacket. That's down here. Put some puffs in his uh the puff areas of the jacket. If Buzzy is ever found, I really do think they should um, resurrect the attraction. But the thing is, they're going to have to fix him. They're going to have to fix the animatronic if it's going to have to function again. Order new hydraulic lines for him because they were cut, according to what the videos and photos showed. Thanks to uh, the damning evidence that Patrick Spikes put up on online, <laughs> that got him caught for sure. And he's banished from Disney property. He and his stupid cousin. Okay, 4B pencil. I'm gonna do that to uh, color in the top part of his hat. He's a commando. Sorry about my phone jingle. I'll have to check on it later after I'm done recording this. Could be a tweet, could be uh, ingress. Now for the uh, hat line, the hat flap, I'm going to use a 5B pencil. I did send fan pics based on Cranium Command to Scott Curtis himself on Twitter. Including a uh, mixed fan pick of uh, a lost Buzzy looking at uh, ingress portals. I tagged uh, the ingress app creators themselves, and uh, one of the responses was, "It looks like the creators of the of the experimental prototype committee of tomorrow of tomorrow, Epcot, were influenced by XM, and they commented on my on my betrayal." Okay. Now for the headphones, I'm gonna use I'm gonna use a six B for that. I'm gonna outline here. As you should know, Corey Burton, he was the voice of uh, modern day Captain Hook for Peter Pan as well as playing Gaton Moyer from Atlantis the Lost Empire. They call him the Mole because he loves to dig holes. <laughs> mole. He played General Knowledge, Buzzy's uh, commanding officer. 
The one who keeps saying, use your head, don't lose your head, Fuzzy. He keeps uh, sticking Buzzy's name for Fuzzy. <laughs> weird. He's a weird guy. Okay, I might also use this for uh, Buzzy spectacles. Or something. Mm, never mind. I'll just go with the headphones with this. And the uh, talk piece. I'm sticking close to Buzzy's chin. I'm just gonna do that lightly right here. Darker outside the glasses. Try to make Buzzy look like Buzzy in some way. John Lovitz, who had many voiceover roles in The Simpsons, as like Artie Ziff. And he uh, played one of the Cerebral Cortex members in Cranium Command, while Bobcat Goldthwait played the Adrenal Gland. They could have called it the Amygdala, because it has that uh, fight-or-flight thing. Believe me, I took a uh, psychology class for college at one point. I had to do some studying about that. It was a requirement. That way we can understand the human mind. Or animal mind, whatever I had to do. I had to get good grades in college. Hans and Franz themselves, they played the ventricles. And the left and right ventricles, they were those two muscular guys that were pumping. Oof. Hot. Whoops. Let's see here. 7B pencil. I'm going to use that uh, for uh, Buzzy's eyebrows. Hair, fa hair bangs and uh, for a darker effect, his uh, glasses lining. I'm going to do the glasses first. We'll get, we'll get it dark here. Try to make the glasses stand out in some way. Nose rim right there. Let's see. Oh, yeah, the eyebrows. Sticking out of his hat. Now then, Ugh. last pencil I'm going to use the 8B pencil so I can give this the 3D effect. To 
make Buzzy look like Buzzy. Let me get that shadow on the nose here. The darkness of the nostril. shoulder there. And the bomber jacket fluff. Let's see, I think I was, I'm almost done. Um, hat. flap. Headphone side. Show the glasses. That's with the glasses thing. You have these doing these slits here to make it look like it's a reflection off of them. Last but not least, I finally got something here. A, sh a smudge stick to help blend this in a bit. Make it all stand out. I always save the smudges for last. Even when I took drawing class back in college. Get rid of all these uh, drawing marks of a sort. the sponge stick, like I'm saying. Especially on the face to make sure that it all blends in.
did remember hearing Buzzy say, gee, it's dark in here. I was in the main show arena of Cranium Command when you're sitting inside Bobby's head. He ain't buzzy without his glasses. That's how he was designed. <sighs> and, oh yeah, one more thing. I gotta write my name here. And there you have it, Commander Buzzy from Cranium Command. And uh, for those of you out there, find Buzzy, but be careful because of the pandemic. Do everything you can to bring him home. And uh, good night.